Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how to obtain the MAC address of the station Wi-Fi interface of the ASP32 using the Arduino core. As target board I'm going to be using an ASP32 Fire Beetle board from DFROB. So, looking into the code, and as you can see here it is very short, the first thing we need to do is including the Wi-Fi.edge library, we should expose to us this Wi-Fi extern variable that has the methods that we need to interact with the Wi-Fi capabilities of the SP32 uh, in the Arduino core. So um, the main functionalities can be accessed using this extern variable. So after we do this include, we should uh, we should have all that we need so we can move on to the setup function. And the first thing we'll do is um, is opening a serial connection so we can uh, print the results from our program. And in this case, the result will be the MAC address. After that, we need to call this mode method on our Wi-Fi object, so we set the operating mode uh, of the Wi-Fi interface of our ASP32. In our, in our case, since we are going to uh, obtain the MAC address of the station interface, we should set the ASP32 to work in station mode, so we pass here this constant, Wi-Fi underscore mode underscore station, uh, which basically specifies that our ASP32 will be operating in station mode. This will ensure that under the hood uh, the Wi-Fi interface will be uh, initialized which will allow us to get the MAC address. After that, in order to get the MAC address, we simply need to call this uh, method which is called precisely MAC address and it takes no arguments and it will return a string um, formatted uh, containing the MAC address of the station interface of our ASP32. One important thing that I want to show you is, and I'm going to duplicate this here, is that we can only call this uh, MAC address method after we have initialized the, uh, the Wi-Fi interface. Otherwise, uh, this function will, instead of returning the MAC address, will simply return an empty string. And uh, I'm going to upload this code to my SP32 so you can see the difference. And then after this, I will explain you uh, very briefly why this happens. So basically uh, it is just uploading and we should see the code right away, uh, sorry we should see the results right away as soon as this uh, finishes uploading. Oh here it is. As you can see here, uh, we can see here that we got first an empty string, we, we get a new line because I'm using the println function of the serial uh, object but basically it did not print uh, any MAC address in my first call to the MAC address method. And in my second call, as you can see here, it is printing the MAC address of my ASP32 and it is doing it correctly. In this case, it is printing the MAC address of the station interface. So, uh, this happens because of the implementation of this method. Here, the MAC address. I can show you. Basically, here you can see the, the implementation of the method. Um, so, basically, there, there is a, uh, this method is overloaded, there is another option, but we are using this one. And basically, uh, as you could see, it returns a string and it takes no arguments. And in its implementation, it calls this ASP underscore Wi-Fi underscore get Mac uh, function. This is a system function from IDF. And basically, this function is uh, the function that will fetch the, um, fetch the actual Mac address of our uh, Wi-Fi station interface. As you can see here, there is also a constant that is passed to this function indicating that we want the IP of the station interface, uh, not because, as you know, the SP32 can, on, can also operate as a soft IP and it corresponds to a different Wi-Fi um, interface. So basically we are uh, stating here that we want the MAC uh, of the station interface. And basically what this function does uh, is simply uh, grabbing what is returned here. It is an array of bytes, of six bytes with the MAC, uh, and basically it just prints us um, in a nicely formatted uh, way, like we see, like we have seen here uh, in the output. But basically, if we go to the documentation of this SP Wi-Fi get MAC function, and I have the documentation here. Uh, this function will return an error in case Wi-Fi is not initialized. And as you can see here, it should be initialized by calling this function 
it's also a lower level function called SPOIFI init. Basically, when we are uh, working with Arduino Core, we don't see these lower level function calls, uh, but what happens is uh, if, we, if we call this Wi-Fi MAC address method uh, without doing anything else before, basically what will happen is that under the hood, this ASP underscore Wi-Fi underscore init function will not be called at this point, so this is why uh, we get an empty string. Basically, in the lower level, we have obtained an error uh, because the, the interface was not initialized and basically uh, basically the buffer that was receiving the result of the MAC address will be empty, will have no content and basically this is why uh, we, we don't get anything here. Then, after we call these, uh, these Wi-Fi modes, under the hood, this should be calling the... Um, the function that I've mentioned, this should be calling the ASP Wi-Fi init function. So after this point, after we, we do this call, uh, the function to initialize the Wi-Fi interface, sh uh, interface should already be called. So after this point, if, if we call the MAC address function, uh, the lower level function, uh, the ASP Wi-Fi get MAC should already return a value. And this is why, this is why we see a correct result after this point. So basically, this is uh, the the only the only gacha that we need to take in consideration when using this MAC address method. But other than that, we should be fine. Naturally, there 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 are other lower level uh, functions that we can call to get the back the base MAC address of the SP32 uh, without needing to initialize the the Wi-Fi interface first. But I'm not going to cover them here because it's a little bit more complex. So basically, the last thing I want to finish. Sorry, I want to show you before we finish. Uh, is uh, go to a to a MAC address lookup to a to a site that does the lookup of the MAC address vendors. And if we grab it and if we paste it here, as you can see here, uh, and this information, the information regarding the vendor, um, is is contained uh, in the MAC address. And as you can see here, it's it tells us that this MAC uh, is from Expressive Inc. So this is the vendor of the device that has this MAC. So as you can see here, uh, we have obtained the MAC address. It's pretty simple as long as we are careful to initialize the Wi-Fi interface first. So basically this is it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed.